it's really amazing now. YouTube is everything. It, it, like you don't even need cable. You can find anything you need. Right? Yeah. So what I wanted to do is just quickly describe what's going on. I know you came in with the issues of the other nails being abnormal shaped. We talked about that briefly, how they've been trying to get damage, and that's why they're going bumpy, uneven, yeah. and that's a permanent change. Now, this guy's a little bit different. He had trauma from that huge cast iron stove. Yeah. Falling yeah. on it, right? Mm -hmm. oh my, how, many, how many pounds? 500? Uh, 500 degrees. Oh, 500 degrees. Yes, oh my God. Pounds, but 500, 500 degrees, degrees preheated. Uh, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Did you feel heat at all or is it just pain? No. Immediately I just felt shocked and I think my adrenaline. Yeah. Nail became lifted mm -hmm. and it was like that for how long? Uh, about like six months or so. And yeah. you just had constant pus coming out. You saw a few other foot specialists. Yep. And they just said let it grow out or just let it be, right? Yep. What they were expecting was as damaged nails happen sometimes or if they become lifted they just push on out and a new nail okay. grows in but when we have sometimes the nail underneath the cuticle um, become lifted yeah. it becomes detached and it doesn't push out anymore and it just sits there okay. and then you get a pocket of pus you get basically an abscess you get this mm -hmm. non-healing wound and that mm -hmm. actually puts further pressure on the nail bed mm -hmm. creating a then permanently damaged toenail yeah. You've been picking at it. I know you've been trying to help it, which is yeah. nothing wrong to get it out, but this is so far deep. You can see how far that redness is. Yeah. That's probably how deep that nail's been injured and something's probably underneath there. Oh, wow. Um, you can see the nail itself is, has lines. Damaged. That nail will probably never grow the same again. So what we're going to try to do, instead of removing this nail forever, you're a young girl, we want you to have a toenail. <laughs> I think it's just the remnants of something left behind. I told you I might follow that cut, but if I see it's really wide, I might just trim just the corner. Yeah. Remove or put the acid only in that, so we just save some of the nail. Okay. And once that remnant is out, everything will go back to normal. Literally, okay. you just had this lifted nail underneath the skin that damaged it. Something's still in there and hasn't come out yet. Okay. Okay. So here we. It would always just keep growing out, and that it would heal up and that it would be fine but but again you, you saw other professionals right you yeah i did i saw two other podiatrists and, and did mm -hmm. anyone numb the toe did they try to check underneath they just looked at it nope just looked at it they didn't clean it nothing they just looked at it examined it and that was that yeah yeah this is a very common issue that i see where the nail gets damaged or lifted and it doesn't push out and people are just saying just let it grow let it grow up but yeah when it becomes too detached underneath the skin, it doesn't push out anymore. Okay. It's like it's not alive. Right. And so it's just sitting there. And obviously there's an open wound, so it gets infected, and then you just have yeah. this wound that just sits there. Yeah. And you were pushing out pus before, right? Oh, yeah. A lot. On and off for <laughs> a long time. Yep. Mm -hmm. I've just been in this, like, cycle of infection. And that's because there's something irritating uh, or stopping the, the body from the nail that's stuck underneath okay now obviously there's only so much self-surgery you can do oh yeah but Which i'm sure i you don't <laughs> recommend now after having done it i don't think it's a good idea so this is a tourniquet so there's very little to no blood so we can see everything very clearly so we can have a little bit of investigation what's going on yeah. But you already removed all the good pus, I can tell, huh? I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I didn't save the good stuff. That's okay, this is good, this is good. This is good. It's good. like popping zits before a patient. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little check. Okay. Anything sharp here? No. Nope. Down here? No. Nope. Okay, so you're pretty numb. So just seeing what's going on. Mm -hmm. All that abnormal tissue. You can see usually in the procedures, you don't see a lot of blood. You see yeah. how this one's bleeding already a lot? Yeah. It's because it's very abnormal tissue that's here. Okay. That makes sense because, um, like I had described before, I've been trying to keep it healthy by soaking it and then putting topical antibiotic ointment on it. But yeah. even just touching it would often, like, just if I even bumped it or I didn't bandage it well and my sock caught on it, it would bleed up. Man, you really got deep in here. I know. It's not good that I have a 
pretty high tolerance for... Did you rip out a lot of nail that was underneath? Yeah. To me, genuinely, it didn't like feel like a lot at the time because it was in so much pain. And I have uh, pretty strong clippers. Yep. And so I just, it, the nail had already lifted on the side, so it's not like it had to detach. So it actually didn't hurt that much. And then I just when was that? down to the root and then. And when was that? That was before Christmas. That was about like, I don't know, like four weeks ago. And since then it's been much better? Yeah. Okay. I... But if you had seen it prior to that, you, it's rather disturbing what it had looked like. This is going to be the lamest video. No, it's not lame. So <laughs> what happened, so this is what we're going to do. There's okay. no nail that's going on underneath, but there's all this abnormal tissue. Okay. I'm going to clear it out. I don't see any nail left behind. It looks like you actually got rid of all of it, but I'm going to wow. put the acid here to stop it from ever coming back. Okay. Um, the nail over here is damaged as well. You can see, you see how it's chipped? Yes. There's nothing past here. I'm going to remove the nail clear it all out but we're not putting acid in that corner okay but i just need to clear out all this bad tissue this mm -hmm. abnormal hypergranulation tissue um make sure there's nothing left behind put the acid just in that one corner and then we'll be allowing the rest of the nail to grow out okay because okay? this is a problematic area and this is that bad tissue that's almost like blocking normal healing from happening yeah you're making me work today this is yes this is not just a simple one this is <laughs> And it was for oh, first day back too. Oh my oh, god! <laughs> so again, I'm really feeling around. I don't feel any nail. No, any nail whatsoever. I'm weirdly proud of myself, but not. <laughs> it would have been better if I just come in. And I do know that. I'm not just saying that no, to no, suck no, up. Like I do know it would have been better. Is, no, again, you you saw other people. Yeah. You saw other people. They told you to wait. You've been waiting, yeah. and it's just not getting better. Yeah, I got so frustrated that I just wanted to get the paint over with so this is what we call hypergranulation tissue that's skin that is skin oh wow so that's what was going to be for a while yeah and it becomes hard and rubbery uh, like a scar okay like a fibroma like a rubbery growth okay. and then because that's grown there your body can't heal with normal tissue again so you see the cycle? Yeah. So now that it has this abnormal tissue there, it tries to heal that, but it can't heal that. So then it gets even more tissue uh -huh. growing. So it's this vicious cycle of all this bad tissue growth. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So basically cleaning out that whole area. No pain? No. Good show? Yeah, good show. <laughs> This, this is my toes big break. This is my toes big moment. <laughs> Crazy though, all this abnormal tissue. So I thought that that was nail. Mm -hmm. Like to look at it, not knowing, I thought like touching it, I was like, oh, it just must be like nail. So you kept picking at it. Yep, yeah. And so that would also aggravate the wound. Because when I say like, oh, I clipped it out before Christmas, as I'm sure you can tell, I tried clipping it before, but then I left it alone for a long time. <clears throat> and then, uh, and then it wasn't, I didn't do the big clip out until uh, before the holidays. The clip out. Yes. <laughs> and it had its own name for the event. <laughs> it kind of felt like an event. <laughs> for sure it was. Who, you did this all on your own? I did, you yes. Didn't, you didn't film it? I didn't. I should have. My sister was bummed. Uh, my younger sister actually loves these kinds of things, so she was really disappointed. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I sterilized everything. I took it very seriously. I had like isopropyl alcohol. I was just like convinced I was going to do it. But then when it didn't go well, I was like, okay, well, <laughs> I need to actually see someone that went to school for this. So unbelievable deep pocket here. Look at that hole. That is bizarre. So that was all the abnormal tissue. So now that wasn't nail. That was tissue. Tissue. Yeah. Oh, that is so bizarre. Yeah. So cleaning it all out. So we're gonna apply the acid here in okay. this corner. I'm gonna remove the rest, clean out this side because I don't want to damage too much that side. Right. And then we'll let the new nail grow in. 
like we okay. talked about, anytime we have severe trauma like this, the nail's always gonna grow back funky, but okay. at least we can manage it with what we talked about, whether with artificial nail, routine pedicures, okay. uh, buffing or filing of the nail. And then okay. let's say if it's really aggravating you with the way it looks or the maintenance, that's when we remove right. the whole thing. Okay. So I'm literally just applying it in the corner where I just don't want any sort of ingrowth to come back. Isn't it funny psychologically? I know it's numb, but when you put the acid, I was like, it feels warm and it doesn't. <laughs> it's like a mental thing that I feel like it should. It should. Yes, it should. that is so weird because I know I really don't feel anything. It's mind over matter, but it's so bizarre. That was a lot of tissue in there. That is a lot of tissue. Good thing I have a mask on because I have like this gross smile. Like I, <laughs> I'm so happy. I can out. see it. I can see it. I can see it. I'm so relieved because then also that I'm not like tempted to touch it. That's the thing. It's like when you get it treated, then you're like, okay. Did you ever push really far back as well? Yeah. So also what happens that separates the skin mm -hmm. from the tissue underneath mm -hmm. and creates more of a space. And of course, that's when we have more of that bad tissue fill in that space. So that's why what we're going to hope to have is that antibiotics kills anything that's left behind. Now there's no more abnormal tissue that could be irritating the healing okay. process. There's no more nail that's going to grow back there to po possibly again irritate the wound. And then we just okay. let it heal up. Okay. He now, if... Not sorry? Yeah, sorry. He no. Not <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if in a couple months, mm -hmm. four to six months, that's how long we should see maybe half of a nail start to grow out. Okay. If there's a nail there, if you see the wound come back, it starts to become infected again. When you see that pocket, it means that there's something left behind. And unfortunately, that would be the stage to say, you know what? You have to come back in to remove the whole nail completely. Okay. Because something's irritating it. Yeah. No, nope, that makes sense. Yeah, wound care like this is, is with the toes is relatively simple is that if the wound's not healing mm -hmm. because something's irritating it. So. Okay. And he's usually the nail. Or the person. <laughs> or, or the person, for sure. But no. we're going to eliminate that. We're going to eliminate that. The person that. is not going to touch it. Crazy. That is insane. I feel like my toes And I can tell. Things. See, I can actually push this further, which means you've really opened it up. The nail matrix only is kind of, you see where the rubber band is? Yeah. Just in front of that. So the fact that I can go further, even deeper, I know you've really been pushing into it yeah. and that's what really irritated it as well. Okay. Okay. But now that it's cleaned out, we have a fresh start. Mm -hmm. New year, new toe. Yep. So this is rubbing alcohol to neutralize that acid. That's good. And then I'm gonna check the rest of the toe nail because you see there's some abnormal tissue there as well. Absolutely. So I think it's best to remove it. You actually had a nail surgery on that side. Yeah. So no nail's gonna grow back on that corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No pain? None. Really freaky, huh? It is. It's oddly unnerving. It's uh, easier, though, to, to watch than to not watch. Like, really? If something's happening to you, I feel like imagination is worse than what's actually happening. Because people are, like, freaking out, like, what's going on? Yeah. So you can see, there's really... no depth to that nail yeah. right it was right there usually yeah. to go further so it's, it's either been trimmed out damaged or not growing yes oh jeez. and then it's like bluish black there well that's kind of with the acid that we oh, okay. use and the, the tissue but you can i can still see all this abnormal tissue just in that spot where it came up to. i can't believe it's that simple to have a nail removed and that had the initial treatment just been yes it's, it's that simple. It's that simple. We would have just popped it off the day that we saw it, and then you would have been a okay. Wow. So. Let this be a. <laughs> yes. Cautionary tale. <laughs> if your toenail's not growing, and it's pussy, it has to go. Yeah. So just make it nice and smooth. You can see all that stuff, right? Yeah. Thank you very much.
Oh, I love it, so I'm enjoying myself. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is good. Sorry, I didn't save the puffs for you. That's okay. That's okay. It's like a cake without icing. I'm okay with it. The cake's good enough. <laughs> Some people like a lot of icing. I just like the cake. <laughs> so I'm going to get this bad cuticle off. Crazy. Yeah. But it was so unhealthy. So here, see how I can't go further than this? Yeah. And here it's going so deep, yeah. you really opened it up. I'm impressed actually to do that without anesthetic. That's actually oh. more impressive to me. Oh, well, <laughs> I don't know, impressive or obsessive. <laughs> That's the, my one problem in life is that when I do something, I'm just all in. I'm not a moderate person. See, I, you see how it doesn't go further? Yeah. And that's how it should be. And here, you see it's going really deep. You really open it up. So the hope is we don't have any new nail that's irritating. We hold up the tissues on. Okay. Now, when we do remove a whole nail, uh, when you're caring for it, now this is an aftercare, you want to use a lot of cream okay. so the gauze doesn't get stuck to the toe. Okay. Now, if you're home not going anywhere, I would use gauze, uh, sorry, cream and a band-aid. Okay. Just so the, the, the bandage had that anti... Uh, oh, like the anti-stick Anti-stick, yes, exactly. Okay. Sorry, lost my... I was just thinking about how much fun that was. <laughs> um, anti-stick. So use the cream and the band-aid. But if it is bleeding, which is normal for one to two uh -huh. days, then you can use the gauze. Just okay. use a lot of cream on top. Okay. So since you are troweling for a little bit, I would say, you know, um, later tonight... Mm -hmm. If it's not bleeding through, you can leave it. If okay. there is blood through the gauze, then change it tonight. Okay. Okay. Now, the first time you'll change it will be tomorrow morning. Okay. You go into the shower mm -hmm. with uh, the bandage on, then you take everything off and then put on a new bandage. After the shower. Yes. Okay. Morning and night mm -hmm. for one week. Okay. That was it. Yeah, I should have brought in my sandals. I brought Birkenstocks just in case, but they're in the car. Okay, so you're I'm... gonna you're gonna jam the foot in there I because am. the toe's numb. Yeah. So you I... feel in it. Uh, and then when you get in the car, be very careful taking off the shoe. Okay. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And that's it. We're gonna see two sets of pictures in a week and six weeks. So let's see where you're at. Okay. Okay. That was very interesting. This was not just like a normal little piece. You cleaned it out so well that. Uh, it was just so much damage, but that's why it has been getting better. You cleared it out, but we needed to get this skin. And that's a fresh start. Thank you. I'm relieved. <laughs> I'm relieved and happy.